the shrimp is trying to actually hit the prey. The prey typically is crab, or it could be a shell of snail, and it's actually hitting at 20 or 30 meters per second. This underwater is very, very high speed. When it hits during that millisecond where the wave propagation goes through the ductile cloud, it generates all these multiple spiral cracks. These spiral cracks are actually beneficial because it promotes the spread of damage without allowing catastrophic failures. You want to prevent that. You want some kind of plastic deformation. We call this in fracture mechanics graceful failure. Now we can actually create composite materials using 3D printing or traditional composite fabrication procedures. We have a testing machine. We apply compression so that basically these forces transmit into bending. And then we observe how the crack grows, how it twists. We follow that with digital image correlation. So we have a couple of cameras that actually follow the crack, follow the deformation of the material. And then we use that information to compare with computational models that allow us to see more into the material. One of the next steps now is to actually extrapolate these ideas into other materials. So one idea is to use these Bulligan architectures in materials that are very, very brittle, like cement, like ceramics. So designing materials, we still don't have the perfect mathematical tool that tell us how to combine material A and B. We need to do this empirically. So it's more trial and error. What best way to actually look at trial and error than looking at nature that actually tried this for many million years of evolution?